Hello and welcome to our Daily Dose. I brought you to Pevensey Castle today and I'm going to continue with our Roman themed week and I'm going to read from the opening of Virgil's Aeneid. Arms and the man I sing of Troy, who first from its seashores, Italy bound, fate's refugee arrived at Lavinia's coastlands. How he was battered about over land, over high deep seas by the powers above. Savage Juno's anger remembered him, and he suffered profoundly in war to establish a city, settle his gods into Latium, making this land of the Latins future home to the elders of Alba and Rome's mighty ramparts. Muse. Let the memories spill through me. What divine will was wounded? What deep hurt made the queen of the gods thrust a famously righteous man into so many spirals of chance to face so many labors? Anger so great, can it really reside in the spirits of heaven? Once an old city existed and Tyrian settlers controlled it, Carthage a distant menace to Italy, facing the Tiber's estuary, rich in resources, ferocious in practice of warfare. Juno reportedly cherished this one land more than all others, even than Samos. In Carthage, she kept both her chariot and weapons. This was her candidate city to rule as the king of all nations if fate allowed. I'm going to finish it there because I want to leave some time to say thank you to our many contributors this week and thank you also to Francis Morse, um, our volunteer, for helping to organise them. Thank you and see you again next week. Thanks for tuning in.